This is R D Sharma Solutions, Class Eleventh, Chapter Five, Trigonometric Functions, Exercise Five Point Two. Now here, uh, one of the values of trigonometric function is given, and we have to find the all other values, and the quadrant is also specified here. So first, first question is the cot theta is given. Cot theta is given as twelve by five. And it is being said that it is in third quadrant. So we know that in in these quadrants, all school to college. So cot theta is twelve by five. In order to find others, first of all, we'll use the trigonometric identities. So where cot is involved, it is involved in cos x square theta minus cot square theta equal to one. So cos x square theta will be one plus cot square theta. Cos x theta will be plus minus under root one plus cot square theta. Now see, first of all, this cosec theta is equal to plus minus of under root one plus cot square theta. Here, what will be cosec theta? Because this is in third quadrant. We are talking about this third quadrant. So in this, only tan will be positive. Others will be negative. So we will not take the positive sign. We will take the negative sign. This will be under root one plus cot square theta. So under root one plus What is cot square theta? It is given twelve by five square. So this is going to be under root one plus one forty four five five or twenty five. Just add them. Twenty five plus one forty four is one sixty nine by twenty five under root. So it is going to be thirteen by five. And this is the negative sign. So cosec theta will be minus thirteen by five. What will be sine theta? It will be reciprocal of this one. So five by thirteen minus. So we have now. Cot theta and sine theta. So cot theta is twelve by five. What will be tan theta? It will be reciprocal of this one. So five by twelve. Now tan theta is what? Sine by cos. This is five by twelve. So what will be cos? Cos will be twelve by five sine. Cos will be twelve by five into sine. What is sine? Minus five by thirteen. Five five cancel. It will be minus twelve by thirteen. So this will be minus twelve by thirteen. So we all have cot, tan, sine, and cosec already given, and uh, this uh, cos, and now sec. Sec will be inversion of this one. That is minus thirteen by twelve. So these are all the other trigonometric functions. Now here the next one is uh, cos theta is given minus half. So let me just clear it, and then this second one we are taking. Now again, the second one is here. Cos theta is given as minus half, and the quadrant is given as two. So this all school to college quadrant is this one. This quadrant we are talking about the second quadrant. So here, cos theta is given as minus half. What will be sine theta? We know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. Sine square theta will be one minus cos square theta. So sine theta will be equal to Plus minus under root one minus cos square theta, and uh, since sine here in the second quadrant will be positive, so we will take the positive sign, not the negative. So positive. So I I am not writing any sign here because it is positive. One minus cos x uh, cos square, so it will be minus half whole square. This is going to be one minus one by four, and this will be four minus one by four under root, and this is going to be root three by two. So sine theta is root three by two. Cos is given. What will be tan theta? Tan theta will be sine by cos. That is the sine root three by two by minus half. This gets cancelled. It will be minus root three. So tan theta is minus root three. Now cos theta is minus half. So sec theta will be minus two. Just invert it. And sine theta is root three by two. So cosec will be just take the reciprocal two by root three. And what will be cot theta? Cot theta will be inversion of this one minus one by root three. So these are all the other trigonometric functions. Next one here is third quadrant. So all school to college, and we have tan theta as three by four, and Theta is in third quadrant, so only cos will be positive. So we are talking about this quadrant. 
So tan theta is 3 by 4. Let us take, uh, you can uh, use its x square theta equal to 1 plus 12 tan square theta directly. And you can use this also. So it, it is up to you what you use. Now tan theta is 3 by 4. So cot theta will be equal to 4 by 3. Just I am taking reciprocal. Now cosec theta is equal to under root 1 plus cot square theta. Now cosec theta, see this is cos theta all positive here. So cosec theta, cosec theta, and uh, this uh, because all cos and sec will be positive here, cosec theta will be negative. It will be negative. So we will take cosec theta as negative here because only cos and sec will be positive. So here it will be 1 plus what is cot square theta? It is 4 by 3 whole square. So it is going to be under root 1 plus 4 for the 16, 3 is the 9. So what do you get? 9 plus 16 by 9, 25 by 9 under root. So you get 5 by 3 and negative. So cosec theta is minus 5 by 3. What will be sin theta? It will be reciprocal of this one. So 3 by 5, negative of 3 by 5. Sin theta is this one. Now sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. So cos square theta will be equal to under root 1 plus minus, oh sorry, 1 plus 1 minus sin square theta. Sin square theta is what? Uh, will we get sin theta? Yes, minus 3 by 5 whole square. Okay. So cos square theta, again, this cos square theta, because it is cos theta and sec theta are positive, so we will take the positive sign, right? So cos theta will be positive under root 1 minus now 3 by 5, 9 by 25. This is 1 minus 9 by 25. So this is going to be 25 minus 9 by 25. This is going to be 16 by 25. And this is 4 by 5. And we will take the positive sign. So cos theta is 4 by 5. Sec theta will be 5 by 4. And we have sin theta. So tan theta, cot theta we already got. Sin theta and cos theta we already got. Sec theta and cos theta is now this one. Next one here is we are talking about the first quadrant and sin theta is 3 by 5. So in first quadrant all are positive. So we don't care about sin now. All will be positive. So the given thing is sin theta is, four, uh, is 3 by 5. Sin theta is 3 by 5. So cos theta will be under root 1 minus sin square theta. So we will not consider anything about sin. Right. So it means no sin will look after because all are positive. So it will be under root 1 minus sin square, 1 minus 3 by 5 whole square. So it is going to be under root 1 minus 3 is a 9, 5 is a 25. It's going to be 25 minus 9 by 25. It's going to be 16 by 25. So 4 by, this cos theta is 4 by 5. Sin theta cos theta is there. Now tan theta will be what? 3 by 5 by 4 by 5. So this gets cancelled. Tan theta will be 3 by 4. And uh, cot theta will be inversion of this, 4 by 3. Cos theta is this one, so sec theta will be 5 by 4. Sin theta is this one, so cosec theta will be 5 by 3. So these are all the values. Now in this question, sin theta is given as 12 by 13. And theta lies in the second quadrant. We have to find sec theta, sec theta plus tan theta. So second quadrant that is this one, all school to college, second quadrant sign will only be positive, others will be negative. So you can see that this sign is positive. How about cos? Cos will be equal to plus minus under root 1 minus sin square theta. And since we know that cos will be negative here, we will take the negative sign, 1 minus sin square theta. So 1 minus 12 by 13 whole square. This is going to be under root 1 minus 144 by 169. So this is going to be 169 minus 144 by 169. This is be this will be 25 by 169, and this is going to be 5 by 13. But it will be negative. So minus 5 by 13. So cos theta is 1 minus 5 by 13. We need sec theta. So sec theta will be minus 13 by 5. I just took the reciprocal of this one, sec theta. So now sec theta is known, sin theta is known, cos theta is known. So what, what will be tan theta? tan theta will be sine by cos. So it will be 12 by 13 by cos theta minus 5 by 30. 13, 13 cancel, it will be minus 12 by 5. So minus 12 by 5 is tan theta. Now sec theta plus tan theta, let us use this sec theta minus 13 by 5 and this is plus and minus of 
minus 12 by 5, so it will be minus 12 by 5. So this is going to be minus 25 by 5, so it will be minus 5. So sec theta plus tan theta is minus 5. Next one is sin theta is given as 3 by 5 and tan phi, there are two different angles, theta and phi. So tan phi is given as half. Now what is the quadrants they are in? Theta is between pi by 2 and pi. So theta is here. It is in all school to college. So theta is here in the second quadrant. And what about the phi? Phi is in the this quadrant. So phi is here. Phi is here in the pi to 3 pi by 2. So this is 0, this is pi by 2, this is pi, 3 pi by 2. So theta is uh, phi is between pi and pi by 2, and theta is between pi and pi by 2. So this is theta and this is phi. So all sine will be positive for theta, all tan will be positive for, for phi. We have to find out 8 tan phi. 8 tan phi minus root phi sec phi. What we have to find? 8 tan theta minus root phi sec phi. So let us start with this sine. Sine theta is 3 by 5. And we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. So in order to find out cos square theta, we will put like this 1 minus sine square theta plus minus sine. And we know that this theta is here. So only sine will be positive, cos will be negative. So cos will be negative here. So let us take the negative sign and 1 minus sine square theta, 1 minus 3 by 5 whole square. And this is going to be 1 minus 3 is a 9, 5 is a 25. Uh, we have already done that. So 25 minus 9 by 25. So it will be 16 by 25 and this will be 4 by 5 and negative. So cos theta will be minus 4 by 5. Now sine, what will be the tan theta? Tan theta will be sine by cos. Sine is already given. And uh, cos we have just found out minus 4 by 5, 5 I gets cancelled, it would be 3 by 4, minus 3 by 4. So this is tan theta, we'll, we are going to use it here. Now coming to sec phi now, sec phi. So tan phi is given, we will directly use sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. And sec square theta is, uh, will be plus minus under root 1 plus tan square theta. And since we have tan positive here, others tan is positive here, only tan is positive here, if you see tan is positive, half, sec will be, because cos and sec will be positive here, the other one, other than tan, all will be negative here, so we will take this sec as negative, 1 plus tan square theta, what is tan, 1 by 2, so what do you get here, 1 plus 1 by 4, so it will be 5 by 4 under root, that is under root 5 by 2, and this is negative. So this sec will be, sec phi will be minus under root by 5, under root by 2. Now let us use it here, 8 into sec, 8 into tan phi, which is minus 3 by 4, and then minus root phi into, this is root phi by 2. Sec phi is this one. So 4 to the 8, this will be minus 6, minus root phi, root phi is 5, phi by 2. So what do you get here? This is minus 6 plus 5 by 2 or there is minus root 5, root 5 by 2. This is minus root 5 by 2. So let me take this minus. So minus minus will be plus and 5 by 2, this is 6. So what do you get? Minus 12 plus 5 by 2, it will be minus 12 by 5 by 2 and that is going to be minus 7 by 2. So this is the answer, minus 7 by 2. Here sin theta plus cos theta is equal to 0, theta lies in the fourth quadrant, find the sin theta and cos theta. So theta lies here in the fourth quadrant, this is theta. So this is all school to college. Here sin theta plus cos theta equal to 0, we have to find sin theta and cos theta. So what, what we can write sin theta plus cos theta is equal to 0, so sin theta will be equal to minus cos theta. Divide both sides by sin uh, say cos theta, so it will be tan theta will be equal to minus 1. Now tan theta we got, let us find out the sec theta. So sec square theta is equal to 1 minus tan square theta. So sec square theta will be equal to under root 1 minus tan square theta. So sec theta will be under root 1 minus tan square theta. So it will be 1 minus, this is minus 1, whole square. So 1 plus 1 that is under root 2. 
Now, the set theta, if you see here, all school to college, this cos will be positive here. Cos and sec will be positive here. So, we are taking in plus minus sign, we will take only the plus sign. I hope you got the idea. Sec theta will be positive in the fourth quadrant. That is why we have not taken the negative sign. Sec theta is root 2. What will be cos theta? It will be 1 by root 2. So, cos theta we got. Now, let us find out the sin theta. How do we know the sin theta? Because tan theta is already given. Tan theta is already given. We just found out here. Sin theta by cos theta is minus 1. So, cos theta, sin theta will be cos theta into minus 1. Cos theta is 1 by root 2 into minus 1. So, sin theta will be minus 1 by root 2. So, this is cos theta, this is sin theta in this quadrant. Next one is cos theta is given as minus 3 by 5 and theta is between pi and 3 pi by 2. So, if I can make the quadrant, this is 0, this is pi by 2, this is pi, this is 3 pi by 2. So, the theta lies between 3, the pi and pi, 3 pi by 2. So, theta lies here in the third quadrant. In third quadrant, if you take all school to college, tan will be positive others will be negative. So, cos theta is given, cos theta is minus 3 by 5. So, sin theta can be easily found out using plus minus under root 1 minus cos square theta. Now, since sin here in this sin, in this sin theta will be negative because only tan will be positive. All only tan will be positive, other will be negative. So, we are taking negative sign. So, under root 1 minus minus 3 by 5 whole square because it is already given. It will be 1 minus 9 by 25, 25 minus 9 by 25, that is 16 by 25 under root of this, 4 by 5 and we are taking the negative sign. So, sin theta is now minus 4 by 5. What will be tan theta? Tan theta will be sin by cos, sin is minus 4 by 5 and cos is minus 3 by 5. So, it will be 4 by 3, okay, 4 by 3, it will be 4 by 3. Now, what will be the cosec theta? Cosec theta will be sin inversion you can say. So, cosec theta is what the sin theta reciprocal, so it will be minus 5 by 4. What is sec theta? Sec theta will be 1 by cos theta, cos theta is already known, so it will be minus 5 by 3. Now, cosec theta, cosec theta is known to us, sec theta is known to us, tan theta is known to us, so now cot theta will be 3 by 4. So, cot theta is known, sec and cosec and tan is all already known, 4 by 3, this is tan. So, now let us put it here, cosec theta that is minus 5 by 4 plus cot theta is 3 by 4 and uh, sec theta is minus 5 by 3 and minus what is tan theta 4 by 3. We just have to solve this, this is going to be minus 5 and 3, 3 minus 5 is minus 2, this is 4, minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9 by 3, so 3 3 is a 9 and 2 2 is a 4. This is minus half by 3, it is going to be minus and minus uh, gets cancelled because this is minus. Minus and minus gets cancelled. It will be minus 2 comes here, 1 by 6. So, plus 1 by 6. This is 1 by 6, plus 1 by 6. So, this is the exercise number 5.2. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.